What's up guys, Duarte here with another Marvel Strike Force video and in this video we are back to talk about uh, Void Knight. A lot of people are thinking that Void Knight is going to be arena meta and we're going to try to figure that out. We're going to use my speed calculator and see if he has a chance of being arena meta or not. We're going to take a look at the characters that we face most often in arena and then try to figure out by using math to see if it's going to be possible for Void Knight to be relevant or not. With his abilities on his ultimate, being able to put everyone together and applying ability block to one target for two turns, this is massive. So if he actually can land that ability block, then that's going to be very positive for us, right? Not only it opens possibilities in, in Arena to use this character, but also other game modes like Cosmic Crucible Alliance Wars and maybe even Avengers Tower. So it's going to be very important that we have this answer and see if it's going to be possible or not. So as always, if you like the information on these videos, make sure you share it with your friends on Facebook and Discord. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe for more Mouse Strike Force content and make sure you smash that like button like a boss. Okay, so first off, before we begin, we have to talk about the Isolate for Void Knight. On his ultimate, it says that he gets 5,000 focus but uh, from my experience, he only gets 5,000 focus on the ability block. On the flipping the positive effects into negative effects, he does not have 5,000 focus. And we saw this yesterday on my live stream where I was using this character in raids. And yes, he was able to apply the ability block to everyone, but he was not able to flip the towns on characters like Absorbing Man. So keep that in mind. It seems like... Uh, he might feel like a raider or a striker or whatever are the best options. But uh, if you want the most reliability, then you should try the the Skirmisher Isolate instead. Okay, so let's talk about the Arena meta. So the characters that right now are dominating the Arena meta, we have uh, Super Scroll, of course. We have also Black Cat and uh, Argunus. We are talking about... Uh, the hard light we are talking about photon we are talking about robbie race all these characters get a lot of speed bar whether it is on spawn whether it is with some bleeds so you have to be very careful with that and then like i said we also have super scroll that uh, depending on how many positive effects you have it might get more or less speed bar so this is going to be a deciding factor because we really have to diminish the amount of positive effects we have otherwise uh, Void Knight is not even going to get a turn, right? Because Super Scroll is going to get so much turn turn bar. Okay, so with this all in mind, we have to check out how much speed bar Void Knight gets. It's 25% and his speed is 113. So based on this, we need to calculate how much effective speed is going to get and compare it to the other characters that we are facing. So let's jump into Arena and see if you can do this so we have two options of teams to face one has black cat we have super scroll we have quicksilver and we have robbie rays and the other one has hard light so the hard light is going to be the hardest one to face so we're going to try that one first okay so let's take a look at this speed calculator and see what we can do so we have hard light right here and our light she gets 10% speed bar plus additional 10% for uh, secret defender ally. So that means we are getting 30% speed bar in total. Does she have speed up? No. Do we are, are we facing Emma Frost? No. Does she have Loki, Cable or uh, Kang? No. She doesn't have any of that. So her effective speed is going to be 165. Great. Now our Void Knight, you can see right here Void Knight. He has 113 speed, so he has less than hard light. He has 25 speed bar, so less than hard light. And his effective speed is just 150. So, as you guys can see, he's not going to be as fast as hard light. Now, let's try to spice up things. Let's try to bring along Kang. Is Kang going to help us? Okay, he got us pretty close. So, we went from one. 150 to 161 so that puts us a lot closer now what about emma frost should we use emma frost uh, no we don't want this one we want the opposite 
So not Emma Frost, we want Emma Frost on our light, yes. So that means that if you're using Emma Frost, then Void Knight will be faster than our light. The problem is that they have Apocalypse, and if they have Apocalypse, Emma Frost does not work. If they have Nightcrawler, Emma Frost does not work. So keep that in mind. So we have to remove Emma Frost. Emma Frost is not an option. Can you use Loki? No, because he is not a Misty controller, so we cannot use Loki. Can we use Cable? Yes, we can use Cable. So if you are using Void Knight, Cable and Kang, then yes, then we might have a chance of going before our light. Now, what about Super Scroll? So my opponent, he also has Super Scroll, right? Yes, so he has Super Scroll. And uh, Super Scroll gets Speed Bar based on how many positive effects we spawn with uh, right away, right? Every time we get positive effects, Super Scroll is going to get Speed Bar. So does Cable or Kang or Void Knight have uh, positive effects on spawn? No. We are going to use a Super Scroll and we are going to use Apocalypse. So Apocalypse should give only, should give, if it's working properly, should give 10% speed bar to scroll. So that means that we are still going faster than uh, Super Scroll. Now, because Super Scroll is full of bugs, I'm going to assume that it's going to get 20% speed bar. And this is because of uh, Apocalypse getting Safeguard and then he gets the other buffs as well. So we are going to assume that, uh, yeah, he's going to get 55 speed, right? 155 speed. It, it's complicated, guys. It's tough. It's very hard to deal with these characters that we don't know exactly how they work. We can just assume. And uh, this is the best we can do in terms of Super Scroll because Sometimes he gets way too much speed bar and other times he doesn't get speed bar. So it's very confusing how exactly this character works. And this is because if you get a speed bar effective over 100%, then the, the speed bar of the characters get completely bugged out, which, which is not great. Okay, so in theory, if you are using this team, Kang, Cable, Apocalypse, Void Knight and uh, Super Scroll, then we should be fine. Okay, now taking a look at the composition of the team once again that we are facing, we are facing Hard Light. Are we going to ability block Hard Light or are we going to ability block uh, Super Scroll? So I think we should ability block Hard Light first because she's going to do the taunt and we don't want her to taunt. And then our Super Scroll should go faster than the enemy Super Scroll because we have once again Cable and we also have. Uh, the Kang, so our Super Scroll should go faster than the enemy Super Scroll. We're going to assume that. We also get more positive effects than the enemy, so we are going to assume that as well. Okay, so let's see if this is the case. Let's see if math actually helps you win in Marvel Strike Force or not. So here we go. So the team that we want to bring is Void Knight. Yes, we're going to put Void Knight here. We're going to remove these two Morphos. Cable, and now we need a Super Scroll and uh, also Cable. So let's get this guy in. And now we're going to get a Cable. I'm going to probably put Cable in the middle so he dies. As we only need him on spawn. So there we go. We got Cable in. We're going to save this team. Yes, and now we're going to switch it around. So we're going to put... Uh, we only need Void Knight on spawn so he can die. Kang can also die because you only need him on spawn. So let's go like this. So this is the team that we are going to use. Once again, based on the math, Void Knight should go before Hard Light because we have uh, that additional speed bar from Cable and from uh, Kang. But Hard Light also gets speed bar from our allies. So we're going to see if this is going to work or not. Is math something you can actually use to win in Marvel Strike Force? I don't know. Now, in terms of these characters, like, uh, is Kang a meta? I'm not sure. Is Cable meta? Definitely not. And the other characters are meta. Okay, so here we go. Let's see. <laughs> I'm actually curious to see if it's going to work or not. Because it's very hard to, to predict uh, with Super Scroll as he is such a bugged out character. Okay, let's slow down. So let's see. They're going to get a bunch of speed bar because of our Apocalypse. And my Apocalypse went first. So that's good. That's good. And this is because they have so many buffs. So my goal with my Super Scroll. Okay, I'm going to ability block their Hard Light. 
No, I need to ability block their super scroll because otherwise I'm going to speed up uh, the enemy super scroll. So we need to be careful with that. Okay, so we ability block their super scroll. And now Void Knight goes first. And we are going to ability block our lights. So here we go. We could also steal our energy. But I think putting everyone together and stopping Black Hat is going to be important. Okay, so it seems that we can use math in order to win on Marvel Strike Force, which is great. Now, we don't want to deal too much damage to scroll. Otherwise, he's going to clear that ability block away. And guess what? We did too much damage to scroll anyway. So, yeah, that's not great. And now, the problem with our light is that, as you guys can see, she doesn't have Disrupt. So, until we apply Disrupt to her, she's going to clap us back. And that's not great. Okay, Cable now died, and the enemy Super Scroll had two turns, and we had none. What is this? <laughs> okay, let's apply this Rupt to the enemy Hard Light. Okay, I guess the Super Scroll, what, what happened? Like, maybe he's a striker, maybe that's the case. Okay, he's a striker, that's why he did some additional attack, but he didn't got the safeguard. He has two heroes, he has two villains, so he should he should have gotten safeguard. Okay, so now with my apocalypse, I'm going to use the ultimate. We're going to apply trauma to everyone. And now let's see if you can delete that enemy super scroll. He's going to get a bunch of speed water. And the problem now is we can delete the scroll, but what about the other characters? Like we are using Kang, our Void Knight got obliterated. So we are in a situation where it's not so easy. So let's see. We're going to use Kang here, and here we go, let's delete that Apocalypse, and then we have our light uh, left, and at this point we are fine, right? Unfortunately our Void Knight died, but uh, that was good enough for us to finish them off, and now here we go, and smash this girl in the face. Ooh, I need to quit, I need to quit battle, otherwise we cannot repeat this again, so here we go, let's quit, but yes, we definitely won thanks to Void Knight. Okay, so now that we saw that, uh, yes, indeed, Void Knight can stop uh, Scroll and uh, Iron Light in terms of Arena. The real question is, can Void Knight hel help us to beat Scroll in case we don't have Scroll? That's the real question. So once again, we're going to take a look at uh, the speed bar calculator and see if we can come up with a team that allows us to do that. Okay, so we're going to face this team Wakanda forever. So let's take a look at the math and see which kind of team do we need. So do we need Cable and uh, Kanga? Probably not. Let's, let's remove that. But we're going to use Apocalypse. So because we are using Apocalypse, Scroll should get 10% uh, speed bar. Maybe 20, who knows. So the effective speed, uh, even if we have... Uh, so if we have uh, Apocalypse, I'm going to assume that we need at least uh, Kang, right? So if we have Kang, we should be able to go faster than Scroll and ability block him. Beyond that, uh, we need to use characters that allow us to destroy the enemies. So this is going to be somewhat tough, but let's try to, to figure out a team like that. Okay, so we are facing Quicksilver, so we are probably also going to use Quicksilver. So let's do that. So we, are, we can remove uh, Cable now. And Robbie Ray's Ghost Rider, he does not have buffs on spawn unless he's together with his team, right? So that would be quite nice. And uh, Quicksilver, he also does not have buffs on spawn. So is that a good option for us? I guess we're going to find out. So with this team, we should be able to go before the scroll, ability block him, and then clap his cheeks. Now, we are also facing a big Quicksilver, we are also facing Black Hat, which is very powerful in Arena. So we still have to stop her, and my Apocalypse should go faster than his Black Hat, but we're gonna see. Okay, this is the real answer, this is the meta-defining moment. Can Void Knight stop, stop Super Scroll if you don't have Super Scroll by using Math? That's going to be the real question. Okay, so here we go. I should get a little bit more Skirmishers, by the way. Mm. Okay, we're going to leave it like this. It shouldn't be a big deal. Let's see if uh, we can stop Super Scroll without Super Scroll by using Void Knight. Meta defining moment. This is a big deal, guys. Let's see if Math is actually real or if it's just my imagination okay so we go before super scroll 
that's great but you can see that the enemy super scroll is going extremely fast and once again this means that he's getting more speed bar than we were expecting okay we have offense up already on uh, quicksilver and that's why did we land the ability block we landed the ability block on scroll that's great and uh, my apocalypse should go before his apocalypse let's see if that's going to be the case or not we can ability block also the black cat which might be a good idea or we can re-ability block uh, super scroll and apply slow to everyone we are not going to apply slow to everyone because they have that uh, quick silver over there and if you if you do that uh, he's going to stop us so we're going to ability block the enemy apocalypse okay here we go now that's going to give a bunch of speed bar to to the enemy uh, Kang or uh, scroll apologize uh, let's rush i don't want to go too fast because we need a we need our apocalypse to go to apply trauma to everyone so we delete the black cat or at least we'll delete her soon we're gonna remove those charges from robbie rays so he doesn't burn our team okay and now we have defense up on this quicksilver which i assume it's gonna be fine okay so we don't want to attack the enemy apocalypse otherwise he's going to clap us very very hard okay here we go this is the finding moment can the void knight stop scroll if you don't have scroll we're gonna find out okay here we go big ultimate of apocalypse with trauma so that is going to apply ill block to the enemy scroller and uh, it seems like uh, the enemy scroll is gonna get deleted it seems like it should i delete the enemy apocalypse first maybe or maybe the quicksilver this is a tough situation so the enemy scroll he has no speed bar and i'm afraid that the enemy quicksilver will delete my team but then we still have uh, the this is very tough guys this is very tough okay i'm gonna use i'm gonna delete the enemy apocalypse maybe you are doing this wrong but we're gonna find out so here comes the quicksilver he slows my apocalypse he attacks apocalypse again and then we have to delete his super scroll okay here we go robbie rays with a big ultimate meta defining moment okay scroll was deleted scroll was deleted let's go quicksilver is over oh my god it happened it happened we actually beat the super scroll without having super scroll okay so here we go let's delete the, the this guy or this girl with a kang banger here we go the money is in the bank so there you go guys this is a meta defining moment super super scroll is dead in arena absolutely dead in arena there you go you guys saw it here first on the the Arctic channel so there you go okay guys so there we go you just saw it if you use the power of friendship and uh, money you're gonna be able to beat uh, whatever you want in life but when it comes down to marvel strike force if you use math and if you have the latest character you might also be able to beat super scroll and this is huge news for most free to play players a lot of people still complaining that oh i don't have super scroll i mean there are like 10,000 plus super scrolls in the wild it seems like it's an invasion but uh, now you have an answer to address this situation of course doing all this math is not going to be for everyone but uh, you definitely saw it here that uh, yes it's possible it's des definitely possible if you put uh, the time into it calculate which enemies you are facing and uh, which enemies you are not facing and which characters you have to use on your team like kang and uh, cable and then uh, decide how to set up your team you definitely need apocalypse for this so i hope you guys have apocalypse and if you have void knight you're gonna be able to beat that super scroll okay guys so there you go meta defining moment this is the new arena meta it's uh let it know worldwide that the time for scroll is over and i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you smash that like button and if you found the video helpful make sure you share it with your friends on facebook and discord if you're new to my channel make sure you subscribe for more mouse strike force content and i'll catch you guys later